Okay, so in this video I'm going to show you how to use a professional digital TV meter to check the quality of the signal coming out of your TV socket. Now in this case, just for convenience, and so I can check the cable as well, I've connected into the end of the fly lead coming from the socket, but depending on what you're doing, you may want to actually plug directly into the socket. Uh, that way you eliminate the fly lead as an issue. So with the digital meter, there's a few different modes that can be used to check how good the signal is. The first place you usually start is on signal level. So it gives you a very simple reading, just a number that indicates how good the signal is. Now the Australian standard recommends that you should be getting 60 to 70 dB at the socket. So on this one I'm looking at the first channel here, I've got 71, now I've got 73, 67, 66, 65, 64, 72. So those levels are all very good. Uh, there's not going to be a problem with that signal level. But signal level isn't the whole story for digital TV. We have to also take into account the quality of that signal. Now, there's a couple of ways you can determine that. Probably the easiest way for a beginner to figure it out is using the constellation diagram. So in the constellation mode, it shows you a pattern. Now in the guide at the top here, it shows you that pattern should just be a grid of squared dots. And that's what I'm seeing here on this channel currently. There's a couple of dots between the major big squares, um, but not that many. Now if I go to some of the other channels, yeah, that channel is all very clear. If I go to the next channel down, again I'm getting a fairly clear pattern. If you're getting a pattern where you're not getting a, a clear grid of squares, that would indicate that the signal quality is not very good. Now you can have a very strong signal, but you can have a horrible pattern on this um, constellation diagram, and that would indicate that you know, even though the signal is very strong, it's a very messy signal, it's not very good quality. But if I look at this one for channel 8, you know, it's all virtually spot on. There's a couple of dots that are outside the squares, but otherwise it's nearly perfect. Now the other way I can do it is using the BER-MER screen. So this stands for bit error rate or mean error rate. And with that one you're looking for the lowest number possible. Now these numbers are shown in E notation. So you've got 5.1 E minus 6. So there are standards that you can look at that tell you wh what they should be in. Um, and you can find those on my website, Digital TV Help. But generally, you're looking for the lowest number. So the higher the, the number after the minus is, the better. So if that's minus 8, that'd be an even lower error rate. If it's minus 1, then it'd be quite a high error rate. So you can look at those things. You can also look at the MER, which is shown in DB. Again, you can find the correct ranges on my website. There's a range of, there's a minimum point, and then there's a range of uh, values that are desirable.